Alrighty then, my husband Vern is gonna show us how to make one of my favorite recipes that he makes in the wok. And okay, what we have here is a ground beef, about a pound and a half of, actually I use ground chuck, and I take a, a medium to a large size onion and coarse chop it, and then I mix that with uh, salt and pepper, add a little garlic powder and soy sauce. Then I blend it all in, and that's been marinating for a day. That's going to be the first thing I put in the wok. And then I've taken uh, zucchini squash, okay, and sort of diagonal slice it. And I'm going to add that after the uh, beef and the onions cook. And then I've got tomatoes. I prefer tomatoes that are a little more mature, but um, had, I got these today. And so I've cut them up a little smaller than normal, but uh, that'll be the last thing that goes in. So he's added some olive oil to his wok. Is it hot yet? No, I, I like to put that in when I warm up the wok. It gives a good coating on every side. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is what I do to get the wok ready for cooking. The oil will um, lighten up as it gets hotter. I'll spread it around to make sure I've got a good oil coating on all the metal. And it keeps things from sticking, doesn't it? Yes. Keeps things. We're gonna have to turn the fan on that's right above the head of the camera. But y'all are used to that. Oh yes, good idea. Fan is not on. Do you get that completely brown before you add anything? Yes. Okay. So he's gonna brown that ground meat with the salt, pepper, garlic powder and the onions, and we'll come back when that is, when something new is happening. And just to give you a hand-hammered walk story, we both worked, I worked more hours a week than he did, and he's, and I did all the cooking. If he grilled on the weekend, I was inside uh, making the potato salad, right? Doing the laundry, that sort of thing. And I'd occasionally see him float on the raft in the pool. And one night he declared that we needed more fresh, vegetables and fish. Now you're talking before the interwebs. So I saw a call 1-800 hand hammered wok from China and I ordered the man this wok. He was not amused and didn't use it for at least three months. But after that time he became the wok master. So and when we built this house I went ahead and made sure we got a wok burner. See how it holds up the wok because it's special to him. So yes. he's going to brown that, and I'll let you know what's shaking after it by showing you what's shaking. I love my wok. So all that's happening right now is Vern is still browning his ground beef and his onion mixture that he marinated overnight in a bowl. So we'll see what shakes after this. Yes, and I'm keeping it from clumping up. I don't want the ground beef to clump. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, clumpy is not good. He added a little bit of soy sauce here, but he also said when he marinates it in the bowl, he does add some uh, soy sauce to that. So the ground beef, onion, salt, pepper, garlic powder, soy sauce is what he marinated it in. Now here comes his zucchinis. And one cup of water, a half cup. And a half cup of water, they're not real thick, so they cook without any problem. Thicker ones take longer to cook. I'm gonna use, it, it is one cup. Oh, it's one cup of water? Yes. 
I'm going to add a little soy sauce. Un poco más soy sauce. He's going to incorporate that with his wok spatula that came with the hand hammered wok from China. I need your total incorporation. <laughs> <laughs> and that water pretty much cooks off, doesn't it? it um, we like the water because I'm going to, at the end, once everything's cooked, I'm going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch into a cup of water. And what this could do is turn it into a gravy that uh, Mouse Toes loves. Yes, I do love it so hard. It's my favorite thing. I've never made it. I don't touch the wok, I just bought the dang wok. Whoa, well, bro. Turn over the wok. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna load in the tomatoes, but I'm not gonna fold them in yet. Oh, no incorporation. Because they cook faster than a zucchini. Okay. So I kind of lay them on top. And the recipe calls for just a little sugar for the tomatoes. Take a little bit of the bitter taste out of them. Not even a teaspoon. Okay, so some sugar, azucar. And then we're going to let this simmer. Okay, so that's going to simmer, simmer, and the tomatoes are just laying on the top. But I, I keep the heat on high, okay, and I'm going to stir it occasionally, but I don't turn the heat down. Okay, so the heat's staying on high on the super burner with the duflachi, whatever that's called, <coughs> flipped up that makes the wok holder. See, I thought of him when I bought a stove. He paid for the stove. I found the stove. That's how it works. Teamwork! Okay. Now I'm going to fold in the tomatoes. Incorporation of tomatoes. This little spatula I got with the wok mm -hmm. that the mouse toes gave me and it's perfect for this. You get everything off the sides. And we season that after we clean it, just like a cast iron skillet, by putting a little oil on it. So now the tomatoes are mixed in. The ground beef's cooked. Yes. And the onions tender, and they've picked up that flavor from the beef. And what's in the other pot, Vern? to the right of the wok. Oh, rice. Rice. Who made yes. rice? Uh, Mastos. Why do Mastos make rice? Because I know good at making rice. Right. <laughs> he can't cook rice, but <laughs> you would not believe the things the man can do on a grill and in a wok, but he can't do rice. I make fly lice. He make fly lice? Yeah, he does that because I make the rice for it. Okay, we're taking the lid off. Whoa. And we got a good bowl going. That's good. Mucho action. Yeah, zucchini's already starting to get soft. And that's what we're looking for. It's been cooking like this for about seven minutes. Okay. Oh yeah, the tomatoes have put color in that uh, water. Yes, tomatoes are cooked down. So, we're just about ready. I wanna see the zucchini a little softer. Okay. So it's very fast uh, to cook in a wok, a very hot wok. Yes. I don't think anything's like sauteed in a wok, you know, slowly. Even his flied lice is very fast. You can, there's a low setting. I could set this thing to low oh. and I have done it before. Okay. I don't know about walking. Oh, wow, it's a lot more liquid now. I see how you make your gravy. Yeah. yeah, I use a little over a heaping, let's say a heaping tablespoon. Just a little more, yeah, into a cup of water. I found that if you put the 
cornstarch into the water, it stirs in better than if you put it in first. Okay. It's hard to get it incorporated. Incorporation. Yes. We have a very theme. important. A theme. Incorporation, very important. Okay. Okay. I want to stir this, get the cornstarch mixed in real good, and then I pour it. I pour it in. Slows down the boiling a little bit. And now I want to stir that in. While it's still on high, I've learned if I turn the heat off too soon, okay, it just doesn't gel like it should and make the gravy. That I love. But yeah, the, the gravy is one of the best parts. Of course, everything is good for you. Where'd your dad say vitamins? Leaking out everywhere? Yeah, vitamins and minerals jumping all around, jumping out the pot. He would yell, for God's sake, to my mother, put the lid on. And this is about the temperature of molten lava, too. He cooks hot. Yes, it is very hot. Best let it cool down before you uh, put it in your mouth. Give us a little scoop of that gravy in your spatula. Oh, nice. Very yeah. nice, fur. It's a little too watery right now. I'm going to keep cooking, okay, until it gets a little thicker. And then I'll just turn the heat off, let it rest, and it's ready to eat. If you had to, would you add more cornstarch like I do flour to a gravy? You can, yes. If you wanted to thick it up a little quicker, you could add more cornstarch. And this is the most delicious leftovers. I make little, um, the little Tupperwares or Rubbermaids you get that hold the sandwich. I put half of it with rice and the other half with the leftover this, and it's like spaghetti or chili. It's even better the next day. Yeah, the gravy's starting to thicken up. And it does, you're right. In the refrigerator, the gravy will thicken even more. And it's really nice. Okay. So just a like of that, there it is. The wok zucchini business, that I call it. And it is my favorite. And he has turned the heat off, and it'll get a little thicker. And then I'm going to dish myself up a plate, because this right here is my jam. Mm. Thank you, Vern. You're welcome.